Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 19 career mode here today on the channel. We have the series finale. This is episode 10 here today of my FIFA 2020 modded Manchester United Super League career mode on ultimate difficulty. We have match day 32. Here today we face AS Roma at Old Trafford. The theatre of dreams with the brand new kits. If we beat AS Roma here today on match day 32, I've worked it out. We mathematically can win the Super League career mode. So, let's get stuck into them. Leave the video a like if you've enjoyed this series. Let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions. If you've hated it, feel free to leave a dislike. I don't care. You're going to do what you want anyway. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you'd like this series to be replaced with. Maybe another Super League series. Maybe playing as Real Madrid, Barcelona, Arsenal. There's a lot of players. Maybe go back to Football Manager. Or maybe I should do a modded series in the Premier League rather than a Super League career mode. I'll put in the description below the mod if you guys would like to download it and play along with me. The FIFA 2020 mod allows you to play FIFA 20 on the FIFA 19 engine with the brand new kits and player transfers. So let's get stuck into Roma here today. They've got a good squad. They brought in a lot of new players. Connor Plianka, David Alaba, and uh, just to name a few. Yeah, let's get stuck into them. Martial. Finds Eriksson, Fernandez, Dabala. Cuts back into traffic, but somehow has possession because he's 91 rated. Eriksson goes for goal, and a little bit unself, but a little bit selfish there. Fernandez whips it into the box. Kulabali, ah. Wambasaka wins the header. Marcus Rashford. The Ballon d'Or winner. I find that a crazy statement that he won that in January. Pogs to bury the match. Oh, it's a good save by Lopez there. I quite like this Roma kit. The lightning bolt through the middle. The flash inspired shirt. <laughs> oh, a dangerous ball over the top. Maguire <laughs> just gets it out of danger to David De Gea. I got to hate playing out from the back. We're united. We're not like those oil barons. Dabala. Oh, Fernandez in the red side of Manchester. Rashford. Oh. Ah. We've had all the chances, but we just haven't been clinical enough in the final third here today. Even our passing's been off. Dabala. Fernandez. Back to Marcus Rashford. In the box. Goes for goal. And he's rattled the post there on the angle. Lopez couldn't get to it. Luke Shaw gets the shot and it's blocked. Right, it's time to make some substitutions. Let's bring on our triple threat. Uh, Sancho and Williams signing in January. Lingard. Yeah, we'll go with Williams as well. But we're nearly getting to the time in the year that uh, FIFA 20 is just around the corner. Man, oh man, it's like 20th of September, I think it comes out. Not too far away. Maybe let me know uh, in the comments, players you'd like me to sign for my careers. Oh, Lingard, Anaki, yes, 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 yes. Anaki Williams makes it 1-0 here just before the 62nd and pays tribute to Wayne Rooney, the new Derby County player coach. Even that's crazy to say, man. It's great to see him back in England where he belongs. But Anaki Williams there. Puts it into the back of the net. Obviously in FIFA 20, going to be doing a Manchester United career and a Real Madrid career, of course. I might do like a Road to Glory as well, playing with a, uh, a younger squad. But I'm testing out some players here. Anaki Williams, Sancho, would you like to see them in my official FIFA 20 uh, Premier League career? De Rossi trying to build something up for the, for the Wolves. The Wolves of Roma. <gasps> oh! Is that an own goal? Regardless, Connor Plianka, the former Schalke and West Ham United left wing has made it 1-1. Um, that's not good enough. We need a win here. We might have to play another match here today if we draw. Connor Plianka scores his fifth goal of the Super League career mode. Sancho. Fernandez. 
Anaki. Oh, what a goal. What a, what a shot on target. I don't know what a goal. Speaking of Anaki Williams, in real life, he signed a massive new contract at Bill Bell. was heavily rumored to leave, but he officially signed. So he, we might not be actually able to sign him if he's a 20 because he might be on a big, big contract. Anaki beats one. Slips in Fernandez, man. He has been prolific this season. It's Bruno Fernandez to bring us back there. 2-1 just before the 82nd. I just wish he had a player face because he has rocketed up in stats this season. 2-1. If we win here today, we win the Super League career mode. We'll be officially a crowned champions on match day 32 with six games to spare. What a goal there by Fernandez. It's also good to sort of test around with uh, rumoured and newly signed players in this modded career. It's a bit of a taste and a bit of a taste for FIFA 20. Good ball over the top. Parati. Patrick Schick. Will and E up top. Useless in this match. Sancho now. Oh, it's a heavy touch, but we're in the box, okay. Oh, what a scoop turn. Fernandez makes it 2-0. Bruno Fernandez has scored a brace here at the Stretford end to make it 3-1 just before the 89th. Bruno Fernandez has won the Super League career mode for Manchester United. Phew. We've gone and done it, boys, on ultimate difficulty as well. We are undefeated. Yeah, there's no way Roma's going to score two goals after that. No way in hell. 13 goals for Fernandez. Romulus and Remus not smiling upon Roma here today. It's the Devil's Day. A whopping 3-1 victory here against Roma has kicked in the festivities. We have won the Super League career mode as Manchester United here today. I've got to attribute my success to my tactics, my 4-3-3 attack, can't recommend it enough, and my smart uh, signings. A lot thanks to you guys as well. Obviously, Dybala, heavily rumoured, leading the line. Martial and Rashford played really well. Playing nearly every single match of the season. Uh, Fernandez leading the line. Popogba on the left complimenting him with uh, Ericsson, of course. Wambasaka, I am so impressed by him. I've never actually played Wambasaka over a full season in career mode, except for this. Even though he's only about 80, 81 rated, 79, I think he started off as. He is he's amazing on career mode. Luke Shaw, a bit hit and miss. He's got he's got a lot of speed, but I might sort of bring in a younger younger sort of well like the thing is right in FIFA 20 Luke Shaw isn't the hipster signing you want to see is he <laughs> uh, Harry Maguire awesome slab head Koulibaly amazing consistent as well I probably wouldn't sign Koulibaly in FIFA 20 but you'll just have to let me know Dave in goal no way he's going anytime soon all right so after 32 matches, we have won the Premier League on 84 points. Dortmund finish in second, Bayern Munich third, and uh, yeah, in fourth. So we're going to simulate the last six or so matches as we've won the league. We theoretically can't lose it now. So let's see how the AI does with the squad. And then we'll go through the stats and see how everyone's shaped up. So... We beat Juventus on the last match day. Good. Schalke. Yes. A draw against Monaco. We won Dortmund. Chelsea 4-0. Man, it's crazy that AI is doing that. We lost to Arsenal. 3-1. Oh, okay, so technically, we're not the Invincibles now thanks to that simulation. But after 97 points, the Super League career mode has ended. Ronaldo is the top goal scorer, followed by Hazard and Luis Suarez at Dortmund. Oh, that's so funny. How has Dortmund not won? It's been in second. Bayern Munich finished in second. Dortmund third. Liverpool fourth. Inter in fifth. Real Madrid in sixth. Juventus in seventh. Chelsea eighth. PSG ninth. Spurs tenth. Barca there. Napoli, Schalke, AS Monaco getting relegated. Roma, Milan and Porto down there. Manchester City didn't even make top ten. Bayern Munich and Juventus play the FA Cup final. Oh, my God. Bayern Munich won the Carabao Cup. I didn't even worry about that. We've got to see if Bayern Munich do the double here. And they've done it. 
They've gone and beaten Juventus. Wow, Bayern Munich came out of nowhere. From this series, right? Though Bayern Munich won on the last um, six or eight games there. Ericsson's a top assister. We'll go through our um, stats as well. But that's how the Super League career mode ended up. Ronaldo was the top goal scorer. Bayern Munich did the double. I didn't want to focus on the Cups whatsoever. I personally don't care about them. I want to focus on the Premier League wholly and solely. And that probably allowed us to blitzkrieg away. Here are the player stats. You most welcome to pause and have a look at your favorite player going up there, of course. Alrighty, here are the job offers. We could join another club. I'm sure everyone would love uh, would love me to, to sign for them. Juventus, Real Madrid, Barca, just to name a few. After 45 matches, we won 34, drew 7, lost 4. Chelsea was the biggest win, 61, biggest defeat, PSV Eindhoven. Um, that would have been a friendly, because they're not in the Super League career mode, are they? All right, let's run through the team stats. Get your predictions for United. So, Anthony Martial was our top goal scorer. 14 for Fernandez. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, Zukic scored nine. That's crazy. He scored as much as Marcus Rashford. So, guys, unfortunately, it's time to end the Super League career mode here. I've had an absolute blast on the FIFA 20 mod. I'll put in the description below once more. But I'm going to have to end the Manchester United Super League career mode here today on the brand new FIFA 20 mod. Let me know in the comments what you would like me to replace this series with. Thank you very much for all the support. I genuinely wouldn't be where I am as a YouTuber without your guys' feedback and support. So I really do appreciate it. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Take care. Peace. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys to get yourself some cheap and reliable games maybe some psn and xbox codes to buy packs for ultimate team or maybe just some games i really do recommend checking out my affiliation link g2a there's some really good prices so even just going looking around to be honest anyway uh, uh patreon stinger there as well come and join the community on steam my name is ben simpsy stay tuned for more videos on the channel make sure to take care of yourselves have a fantastic rest of your day my name is ben simpsy good bye mares Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.